Kings? Fergal. And you're from? St Coleman's College. Tell me, Fergal, uh, what did you do in your project? Well, in my project, I found out the scattering behaviour of sheep using a range of different stimuli, like strangers, the amount of strangers, and then dogs and meal. And tell me how you went about that. Well, well, first of all, I started a control, which was with the farmer with the sheep. So then we used that to backtrack to the other projects to find out what would be different and what is happening in the different uh, projects and put them together and see the difference and then take that as a result. And why did you choose this project? I choose this project because I have sheep of my own and I noticed when there was a stranger moon, they would be a lot more jumpy and they wouldn't uh, they would flock in the field and they would run away from the stranger. Whereas if it was a farmer by himself, they would come to the farmer and they would go round him. So what were your results then? What did you find out? Well, my results were that when there was a stranger in the field, the sheep would allow one stranger to get it within five metres. But when there was two sheep, they associated this with being hunted. So when there was two sheep, they thought they were being hunted, so they wouldn't allow the strangers to get near to them. And uh, do you intend to take this project any further? Uh, yeah, I intend to take it further by using more a range of things like GPS tracking to actually see whereabouts and what are they doing in the flock. What are your experiences then of uh, coming down here to the BT Young Scientist event? Uh, this is just this is my first time doing it, so uh, I haven't really got much experience about what I'm doing now. And tell me, do you think it's important that you study STEM subjects at school? Uh, yeah, I think it's important because it's a big thing coming in now to the future because science is such a big subject now. Thanks very much, that's great. Okay.